love on a balcony. So we start with this lovely, cute, romantic Parisian setting in this grumpy old man. What did you guys think of this piece? But I thought it was um, it, it was very nicely lighted and modeled and somebody was clean and colorful and the and the animation was very uh, smooth. I mean, you know, the characters reacted well and quickly and so on. It, just the techniques, I think, were very good, and the story was very sweet. So it was very pleasing in that sense. <laughs> Dessert. Yeah. It's nice, sweet, short, lovely. It offends no one. It's got a nice little feel good to it. I thought it was an adorable twist. That he looks over and there's a little old lady there. That's so cute. Don't we all wish that would happen? The couple that's, that's like on either side of you moves in together and then your partner comes in? That's fantastic. If only it were like that. Well, from uh, what I could see, uh, he actually had an apartment across the Eiffel Tower. He knocks. So it would seem that he has a nice apartment there in Paris. Very, very beautiful, romantic too. And uh, most of his problems aren't find that well now. But uh, it would seem that uh, he has also a problem with this couple, which is quite interesting, I could say, because usually people in that area would not really be so. Uh, how can I say abducted with such problems? But yeah, so it's quite interesting, interesting to see a, a different approach to this. Location, location, location. You've got real estate at the yin yang. Uh, I, will, I will say this though, it's interesting to see, you know, he's he's maybe jealous of these two young people, right? And he's, and, and I actually think it's kind of refreshing that at the end that love can hit you at any age. And that's kind of the message they leave you with, and I think that's a nice message to have.